Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about plausible errors when we are typing someone. And this is something that I've noticed online quite a bit is that people seem to believe they can just change the letters of the MBTI and it works. For example, some people will say, well, sometimes I feel like an INFJ and sometimes I feel like an INTJ, or sometimes I'm an uh, ISTP and then sometimes I'm an uh, ESFP. And they just feel that, okay, I just changed the letters and everything is fine. First of all, we're looking at brain types. People have stable brain types. It's rare that someone can change unless, again, I've mentioned in my other videos, you go through near-death experience or uh, you meditate for, you know, ridiculous number of hours every day for 20 years. Or sometimes, you know, I, I heard that that's very rare that someone, you know, got in line and just got hit by lightning. I mean, there are some exceptional uh, cases, but for easily 99% of people... <laughs> The brain type that you had when you were born, you're probably going to have when you pass away. So, I just want to talk about the logical errors when it comes to personality types so that you can understand what we mean. So, when it comes to the MBTI, there are four letters. Let's say if someone is an ENFJ. So, when it, you have to focus on the functions. The functions will let you know if uh, your personality type makes sense. So if a person is an ENFJ, it's possible that they think they're an INFJ because if you look at the first four functions, they are pretty much the same, especially if you look at the first two. So an INFJ, the first function is introverted intuition and the second one is extroverted feeling whereas with an ENFJ the first function is extroverted feeling and the second function is introverted intuition so that is a logical uh, error that you think you're the uh, extroverted version versus the introverted version of a type because they're very much similar and if someone you really sit down and, and look at the, the subtleties you can mistake one for the other. The other logical error that someone can make is to believe that a person who is in fact a sensor is an intuitive. For example, if a person is in fact an ISTP and you believe that they are an INTP, the reason being is that if you look at their functions, they're pretty much the same. The difference is that the intuitive function has been substituted uh, for the sensor function, but they're very much alike. And even in terms of their relationship style, so they are both uh, focused on accuracy or they are a masculine spontaneous type. So the way they organize their lives are the, the, the similar in terms of uh, not liking things are too structured. They like spontaneity and they like to do things maybe at the last minute. So you can tell that, yes, uh, unless you sort of do a bit more research, it's logical that a person who is um, an ISTP believes that they're an INTP. But the other types of mistakes don't make sense. Let me explain what I mean. If a person believes that they are an INTJ, but in fact they are an ENFJ. So uh, the fact that they are both intuitives and they're both uh, judgers doesn't mean you can just switch things around. Because when you substitute, let's if you like, look at the last two letters of an MBTI type, so let's say you have like an INTJ, the T and the J, if you substitute any of these two last letters, you see a totally different type. A person who's a thinker is very different from someone who's a feeler in terms of their functions. Same thing when it comes to if a person is a judge or a J, if you move that and, and put a P there, it's a totally different type that pops up. So much so, 
For example, if someone thinks that they are an uh, INFJ, but in, in fact they're an INFP, just the fact that you changed uh, the J for the P, you have a totally different function when you look at the first four functions of the type, like if you compare the INFJ to and the INFP. So it's not something that you can just mix and match whenever you want or in some situations uh, I function like this type and in other situations I function like the other type or when I was uh, a teenager I was that type and by adulthood I have a different one. No, people have stable brains and un unless something dramatic happens, they just are the same throughout their life size. I mean, they, there are some mild adjustments that can be made, but I've not seen anything dramatic so far in my life when it comes to personality types. So to summarize, when it comes to uh, logical errors, when it typing a person, the first two letters, yes, can be substituted, but the last two cannot because you bring up uh, just totally different functions and also different order of these functions. So that's why I think it's important to uh, do more research when a person is trying to determine who a person is and uh, sort of minimize these errors because then we go into uh, sometimes arguments back and forth that doesn't need to be if we really understood the logic behind uh, those uh, functions uh, when it comes to the MBTI. So uh, I trust that this information was uh, interesting, uh, that you've learned something. Uh, if you did, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.